And in neighboring Oyo State, the COVID-19 task force says it has uncovered the Delta variant of the coronavirus in the state. The state's incident manager, coordinator of the Emergency Operations Center, Olabodi Ladikbo, who confirmed this stressed the need for residents to take extra caution and consistently apply to apply all advisories earlier released by the task force. It asked that this strain has been associated with high transmission, increased severity of infection, and outcomes. The state government also restated the need for all inbound travelers to isolate for seven days and submit themselves for tests. And joining me now to discuss the possible threat of the third wave of COVID-19 in Nigeria is a senior health advisor, Lagos Health Summit, Yishau Azizat. Good to have you join us, Dr. Yishau. Thank you so much for having me this afternoon. So um, what, what do we know now? We understand that um, Delta State has said they've recorded uh, one, a, a variant, uh, sorry, or your state rather. What do we know now about the spread of this Delta variant in the country and if we're inching closer to a third wave? Yes, thank you so much for sharing. I think that um, the news about you know the Delta variants and South African variants and you know has been up in the news for a while and over some months ago we recorded so just very few data and it is appropriate for us to now say that the recent spike or the increase that we're having is as a result of this particular um, um, variant, uh, uh, this particular Delta variant, which is known to be more virulent, more infectious than you know the previous variants and you know is a cause for concern especially for third world countries especially for nigeria and especially for Lagos states you know as the import of you know for for travels in and out of nigeria as well so it is something that we should be concerned about it is something that is responsible for the recent increase at least we've had from uh, one percent towards the last few months we've tried to manage the cases but within past few weeks, one or two weeks, the incident cases, at least in Lagos State, has increased by 6%. So uh, so this is something for us to be worried about. This is something that is possibly going to spread around the uh, around the country and it's something that we should watch out for. Um, but I, I like that you said um, something to watch out for. Um, but we know that there is not much known about the Delta variant. Um, a lot of research is still being carried out to understand this particular variant. But what exactly are we watching that for in the country? Thank you so much. So, yes, of course, the variant is something that we are still studying, this particular Delta variant. But just like the classes or the group of, of, of coronavirus, this particular different strain that we discussed, there's a basis to it, and we've actually discovered how we can at least be on a safe pedestal, and that is the use of the vaccine. When we are discussing about COVID-19 vaccine, it's not a total cure or a total prevention from the virus, but it removes the extreme cases. It removes the possibility of deaths arriving from any of the of the strain of the coronavirus as it is. So uh, whether while we are still trying to know how much, you know, or gather more information about the Delta variants, the conversation, especially for us in Nigeria, and, and Lagos State is to focus on ensuring that enough of the population are vaccinated against coronavirus so that if there is any form of, even though there are increased number of cases, we wouldn't have a corresponding increased number of fatalities, increased number of hospitalization, increased number of deaths as well. So, so for me, while we are waiting to know more, uh, Nigeria, Lagos State, and other stakeholders should be focused on getting a sizable number of the population to be immunized, to be vaccinated against coronavirus in whatever um, strain or forms it comes. Uh, and it's even more worrisome because we do not have enough vaccines at the moment in the country. So we hope that we're showing up capacity in other areas. Um, my, my, uh, Senior Health Advisor, Lagos Health Summit, Yisha Waziza, thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much for having me.